just want to fly and shine. <laughs> and then you go to look back and you're like, it wasn't recording. You gotta struggle to survive. You gotta kill your enemy and eat him. Are we recording? Is the, red, the red light on? You can tell because the red light. You see, you have the host voice down from the beginning. Like you're hosting this show, and you have a host voice. I'm Thank a little you. nervous. You being here. I'll tell you why we always ask, "Are we recording?" Yeah, though. why is that? Well, because it's happened enough times. It was something my brother and I started saying to each other, uh, because. I'm sure it's happened to you too. Like you, something cool is happening and you go to record it and you do it and then you go to look back and you're like, it wasn't recording. I love that right? you said because I watched a lot of your interviews and you always say I'm really glad that you didn't like pull back. For okay, yourself. sorry. <laughs> That's awesome. But yes, uh, I've done that and isn't it always- Shoot, it wasn't recording. <laughs> isn't it always when you're the most brilliant that it yeah. wasn't recording? Well, exactly. So that's why like we kind of have this this tradition that before we start anything, we say, are we recording? Yeah. And it's sort of, that was at the very beginning before Hit Record was even a website when it was just yeah. like a little game that my brother and I would play. Now it's a TV show. And now you have over 300,000 <laughs> collaborators. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that you guys say it's not a competition, it's a collaboration. Yeah. Because that really never happens in life anymore. Everything's a competition. It's the only uh, safe place in the world. It's a jungle out there. <laughs> you gotta struggle to survive. You gotta kill your enemy and eat him. That's the American way. <laughs> <laughs> that's the everyone way. That's the yeah. that's the planet Earth way. Yeah. But but wouldn't it be nice if we could uh, rather than killing each other and, and eating it, <laughs> we we could work <laughs> together and make things together. Everything you're gonna see on this show is made by an online community of hundreds of thousands of artists. What do you really want to do? This show is like a new take on TV. How do you think it's like a fresh take on anything that's been done before on television? No one's no one's made TV this way before. I know that. I feel like so much of what goes on on the internet is very much like, look at me, look at me, look at me. And that's fine. What are you I, I talking think about? I've everyone, never stopped <laughs> I've in never my life. I've never said that. <laughs> but the idea on Hit Record is let's, what can we, what can we do together? Rather yeah. than just like going out and be like, everyone look at my page, everyone look at my song and be like, Oh, you wrote some lyrics? Maybe I'll turn that into a melody. Like, oh, you guys got a, a, you know, you did a cool illustration, I can turn that into an animation, you know, and it's it's that sort of process that makes our show. So people out there, you can contribute. If you yes. are not one of the 300,000 people, <laughs> just send your material on over. I want to see if we can somehow contribute in this interview. Okay. I want to see if something will just, you know, happen. Sure. I'll contribute a shoe, I'll do whatever. I mean, well, yeah. <laughs> A lot of, I mean, a lot of the great contributions happen with just people taking out their phone or talking into their webcam or whatever. There's a whole bunch of little, of little clips of just people sharing their thoughts. Those become a springboard where someone will say, like, there, there was, there was a conversation where uh, there was people talking on the site about their favorite candy because someone lived in the UK and someone lived in the US and they have different candy, you know. And so he was describing. I know some from Canada and we have. Totally different yeah. Canadian candy. Yeah, that's it's cold way better. And yeah, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and it says sorry when you bite it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, but he was just describing uh, strawberry bootlaces, and no one, you know, the U.S. the person from the U.S. didn't know what that was, and so he just started writing down, and and then it ended up being this like kind of great funny piece of writing, and then you know there was voiceover recorded over it and then someone took the voiceover and played piano along with that and then I acted out the story and then people put animations behind my acting and that's how we kind of build things and, and that's uh, that's what ends up on our show. Now how much fun was it do playing doing a superhero spoof with Anne Hathaway? <laughs> <laughs> that was super fun. I think both Annie and I got a lot of catharsis. Oh you get to call her Annie? Uh, uh, Anne. <laughs> Ms. Hathaway. You're tighter with her than we are here. <laughs> I'm sure she wouldn't mind if you called her any. Uh, but yeah, to, to just to spoof the superheroes. I, I play uh, Brock Blaster. Yes, And you she do. plays Vivica Virus. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. And there's a spider or whatever it is with 100,000 yeah, arms. Right, well, the, yeah, the, the point of that short film is, is it's actually about the sidekicks because the theme of the episode is the number two. Yeah. So everything having to do with the episode is, is the number two. There's like people talking about being the second child. Uh, there's a song about sort of couplehood. And, uh, and, then, and then there's this comedy short film about being the sidekick to a superhero. And so Annie and I play these kind of obnoxious, self-important <laughs> superheroes. Because you do have an episode about the number two. Yeah. Or things that, so um, two people you still want to have on the show. 
two Dream people. people. Whoa. Because you had Joss Whedon, but that was a pretty cool little cameo. <laughs> that was a really cool cameo, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, people that I would like to have on the show. Mm. Mm. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> David Bowie. Nice! And, That's uh, a good one. Spike Jones. Oh, How about good. That? Those are good ones. <laughs> I love David Bowie was so random. I, <laughs> I was not expecting that. Um, you have an episode about the dark. Yes. Keep this one clean. But what's the best thing that's happened to you in the dark? <laughs> you don't want me to keep it clean. <laughs> well, that I was don't, reverse personally. psychology. <laughs> uh, what what did you say? The, the best thing that's happened to me in the dark? That you can share. Because I had once like a great conversation with my best friend. Like we bonded and somehow in the dark, and I think you've talked about this on the show, you can reveal more things when it's dark. You don't have to look somebody in the eye. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. You know what that reminds me of? That brings me back to um, sleepovers. Oh, Which you nice. don't really do anymore we as, should bring as it adults. Back. You, know? you want to sleep over at Young Hollywood? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you want to sleep over? We have pillows. We can bring a blanket. Are you going to come over or sleep over? <laughs> Whoa. Well, because that was the difference. If you're just going to come over after school. Sleep over. You know, then you play and then your mom comes picks you up and that, that's the end of it. But if it's like the weekend, it's oh, not just like a come too. over play date. It's a sleepover. And you get chips. But you're right, it made me think of it because you'd have conversations after you've gone to bed, you're no longer looking at each other, it's dark, but like that's when you get into like the meat and potatoes. Oh, the yeah. real, you know, what you think of, you know, which girls at school and <laughs> whatnot, you know. <laughs> Who did you have a crush on when you were back in the oh, day? Oh, there were too many. You have a crush on a girl in every class. I mean, that's what keeps it interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that's what keeps you going to school. Yeah. The truth comes out. No, that, that's actually, that, that's sort of the truth. I think I might have even said this on the show or we might have cut this part out, I forget. But, um, but when, I was, when I was in high school, I was working on the TV show, Third Rock from the Sun. And, uh, and oftentimes when you're working on a show full time like that, you don't go to normal school. You, you, you just do school at work and then during off days, you yeah. do homeschool. Right. So I wanted to just go to, you know, school. I went to Van Nuys High, public school in the valley. And um, Hey, you, it's my neighborhood now. Van Nuys? Yeah. 818. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I got me in 818. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the thing with my, my actual reasoning when I was 14 years old was I knew that if I went to homeschool during my, you know, days off, I would never, ever talk to any girls. Where would I ever meet a girl? <laughs> And that sounded like hell. So <laughs> right. honestly ended up being such a good thing for me because- Lots of chicks. <laughs> I, I didn't get any chicks when I was in high school, no. But but I did make some of my best friends in life that I'm still yeah. friends with. Gene Casey, world famous star of stage and screen? Yeah, it must have dropped you harder than I thought. Anyway, let's get back to it. Get up. Get up, but I can't walk. Of course you can walk. We were just dancing. <laughs> Dear God. A five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Okay, and then last but not least, you do play a superhero in one of the episodes. I'm going to ask the worst cliche Comic-Con question of all time. Okay. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? <laughs> well, and that's never been asked before. Superpower, what would it be? I like the idea of, of empathy, but like superhero empathy, meaning that, um, you know, because what empathy means is you can kind of understand what someone's feeling. But empathy where you could actually see through someone else's eyes and really feel what someone else is feeling, like really feel. Um, I think that would make a cool superhero and I think it would be fascinating to be able to not just put yourself in someone else's shoes metaphorically and be like, oh, I wonder how they're feeling, let me see if I can imagine it, but actually really feel it, you know, uh, and hear what they're hearing and see what they're seeing. Um, I think that'd be a cool superpower. In the year of the, the year of the selfie generation, I don't know if that's going to happen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, thank you for coming. I in. just want to fly and shine <laughs> and selfie all day. <laughs> selfie all day. I didn't contribute. I know yeah. I have to let you go, but it was great to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Can I go out with jazz hands? Can somebody animate it? Somebody yes. out there yeah. on hit record <laughs> wants to, you know, maybe animate this situation yeah no animation's easy it doesn't yeah, take any you time can make at me, all you can I'm make sure me look like a superhero that. make me look like i'm fine <laughs> <laughs> thanks for coming thank you very great much great seeing you again Good to talk to come you. back anytime thank you <laughs>